A young boy once stood behind a podium to address his fellow schoolmates for the first time and knew right there and then that this was what he wanted to do, public speaking. Years later, and he would do so in an official capacity as the first ever Kenyan government spokesperson. People who own businesses in this country. But unlike in school, not everything Dr. Alfred Mutua had to say has gone down well with the public. No, no, no. It's, 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 I don't issue Alfred Mutua statements. I issue government statements. Government is not an individual. A government is a corporate body. Yes. This is good for you? What do you listen to? When it comes to his collection of music, the government spokesperson has a track record that speaks well for itself. You know, there's nothing as good as listening to beautiful music while you're driving, while you're being driven, or while uh, you're resting. And, uh, you know, I like music with good melodies. I don't like music that is just, just repetitive, you know, just like... Uh, I like bongo very much, I like uh, rumba, I like house music, uh, I listen to a lot of R&B and good gospel like uh, Solomon Mukubwa is a big favorite of mine, I try to, I can't sing to save my life but I try to sing his songs once in a while. For a man who has for over eight years now publicly outlined government policy and issued all manner of statements on behalf of his employer, this was a rather interesting road trip to his rural home in Kenya's eastern region that allowed him to finally speak for himself and divulge more about his life. People have different sides of their lives. There's, there's your public life and there's your private life. Your private life means that you're just like everybody else. Uh, you, you enjoy going out, you enjoy listening. I love live bands, for example. Uh, you have to grow up, you have to dance, you have, you have to live life. You know, you cannot postpone your life just because you're serving people in government. A two-acre grape farm, what this 41-year-old cites as one of his hobbies. This area in Dukambani is quite dry. I thought I wanted a plant that would make the place look green. And so I've always liked uh, the way the grape, the vineyards look. I went to Italy once. So this is a hobby. This is a hobby, you know, having grapes. Uh, I want to, uh, to get a juice extractor. So you can have a juice, you know, juice from your own farm. Yeah. And so I've also planted mangoes. I've planted a lot of oranges, tangerines. I've planted uh, purples and other fruits. That and his decision to keep such goats, what he maintains, does not qualify him as a farmer. I, I like having an optimum of 12 goats here. Mm. But now there are how many? 24. There are 24 goats. So I need to eat about uh, 10 or 12 of them. Eh? Yeah, just to keep them that small number. Yeah, just yes, for calling my friends, we hang around. I'm not farming. But Dr. Alfred Mutua's life was never so rosy during his formative years. The journey into his childhood leading us to Chaida Primary School, where he attended nursery school. Where I'm seated right now is actually where I did my nursery school. So basically my introduction was A-A-E-O-U. Bambembimbombu. Nudia Kamba saying Bambembimbombu. The nostalgia that floods back with the return to one's roots, exposing the young boy in him who had great dreams and a happy childhood despite his humble background. I tell people that I was in a house without uh, a cement floor with uh, wood sides until the age of 21 using a pit latrine in Nairobi, you know. But I was very happy. You know, my father <laughs> is a comedian and I uh, would sit... Uh, at home, I remember this, I sit at home at night, me and my sister and my parents uh, to Kyoto Lijikwa Maka, you know, and my father would, would crack jokes and would just basically roll on the floor uh, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and so he returns here ever so often to encourage boys as young as he was once about such important basics. But most importantly, educating them about the importance of such virtues as honesty.
Just like most public figures, the government spokesman has not only tried to improve the lives of his area residents. When I moved here, I realized and I found out that the security in this area was very bad. And as soon as the police post was built, crime came to zero immediately. It's amazing. He has also tried to maintain ties with his rural family and friends. Back in the real world, however, okay. and the government spokesman has few friends. The people also need to understand that when I issue a statement or a minister issues a statement or somebody says something and that perspective changes in a week or two, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong. No, government is fluid. Dr. Mutua, who has since tried his hand in writing, publishing, film and TV production and teaching, and now as government spokesman, says he is ready to take it to the next level. Political interest, perhaps? There are many options on the table. A lot of people have talked to me about uh, going into political office, uh, going into other areas. I'm very interested in business, as you know, and I still do my business. So it's something that will become clearer uh, as time goes by. The many faces of a man who, despite such intense public criticism, has continued to keep his head up and who remains determined to change the view of Kenyans, especially on matters patriotism. Jina langu ni Alfred Mutua na najivunia kuwa mkenya. Evelyn Mwamboi for Newsmakers.